Thank you all for participating tonight. We will begin with an opening statement from Coach Howard and then go to questions. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. When you are called on for your question, please state your name and affiliation first. Coach, please give a brief opening statement and then we'll go to those questions. Yeah, sure. Um, just want to say that it was a, a great run this year uh, for this team, for the staff. Um, very disappointing loss to end our season this way. Uh, I give a lot of credit to uh, the UCLA Bruins, the head coach, players, uh, for you know, fighting hard to uh, earn a victory to advance to the Final Four. Um, it's very disappointing for our guys. Um, working extremely hard this year, uh, coming down to you know, one possession. And that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, in a game of basketball, uh, there's one or two possessions that can really uh, either help you or hurt you. And uh, for us, uh, you know, it, we came up short. But I'm so proud of this group and how they competed all season long, doing some very difficult times. It's very, a very challenging year. But at the end of the day, uh, we all need to walk out of this building with our head up uh, with nothing but uh, humility, gratitude, and dignity. Hey, we will now go to questions from the media. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. Our first question will come from Andrew Kahn. Hey, Juwan, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. All right, thank you. You, you, you talked a lot about April 6th, you know, being the last team standing. Uh, obviously, that didn't happen, but you won a Big Ten title. You did a lot of good things. I know you just touched on it a little bit, but I guess... You know, what, what is the message to the team when they're probably heartbroken, but, you know, you had a good year? Uh, the message is, uh, you know, we should uh, be very proud of uh, each and every one of them on how they have sacrificed, uh, worked extremely hard throughout the year uh, back in June and making all this work. Um, there are a lot of folks that deserve a lot of credit uh, that is outside of this team that, that really bred a lot of life into the, the group. but. At the end of the day, we, we learn from this. We will grow from it. And uh, definitely, we all will get better, starting with me first. Our next question comes from Steve Kornacki. Hi, Juwan. A lot, of, a lot of times in a locker room situation after a, a tough game like this, one of your seniors or one of your captains will, will step up and say something that really touches you or, or touches the team. Would, could you share anything like that that, that maybe one of, you, one of your guys shared with the team? Well, to be honest with you, our locker room is uh, what is said is basically stays in the locker room. And, uh, you know, it's just a very disappointing uh, game. And the emotions right now is, is not where, you know, <laughs> like the other locker room at an all-time high. But uh, just want to say this, that, you know, I'm so proud of our group and uh, how, how they fought uh, so hard, not only uh, in this ball game, but all season long. Our next question comes from Brendan Quinn. Hey, Juwan, wonder if you can just walk through those last two timeouts, uh, the plays that you drew up, and then what you ended up seeing kind of play out. Oh, uh, yes. Um, you know, we got the look, got the shot that we wanted. Um, unfortunately, you know, there's not much you can do with point five, but um, that shot, uh, it was a nice little heave. Uh, unfortunately, it just didn't go in. Uh, the play before that, uh, we got an open look. Um, it just fell short. Uh, but overall, I love the fact how our guys executed uh, down the stretch. Uh, yeah, you know, both teams missed some shots that we normally make. Um, uh, if you look at the shooting percentage, uh, you know, there was a, truly a Big Ten style of play with 51 and 49. And uh, with UCLA shooting 30, 8.9, which is 39%, and Michigan shooting 39% from the field. Um, they shot 23% from three. We shot 27%. Uh, fortunately enough for them, they were six for seven from the free throw line. We were six 11, so we missed five free throws. Um, they got seven offensive rebounds. We got 11. They got eight turnovers. Unfortunately for us, we had 14. You know. 
reading that out to you guys, that was you know, the difference of the ball game. But it was a hard fought game on both sides. Our next question comes from Bob Winowski. Yeah, Juwan, um, the offense is on both sides, hard to get going all game long. For you guys, shooting uncharacteristically like that, was that their defense? Was Do you think your your guys, I don't know, was any were they tight at all? Or what, what led to such a uh, difficulty shooting, do you think? Well, um, defensively, we played so hard. Uh, and, you know, UCLA, they have perimeters that are very good one-on-one of creating their own shot. Uh, they also do a very good job of attacking the paint. Um, and we're similar in a lot of ways, too. Um, both teams are spending a lot of energy on the floor. Uh, just for fortunate for them, they were able to win the game by two points. Our next question comes from Vanessa Lachar. You guys threw everything out on the floor tonight, and so what are you hoping to take from this season into the next one? Well, uh, there's a lot to be proud of, and uh, I, I am, and I know this. I can speak for the staff, which I'm extremely pr proud of our staff on how we stay connected. Um, I'm also proud of the group on how I felt we were one of the most connected you know, teams throughout the season uh, during a challenging time. And I'm sure a lot of coaches in college basketball can say the same thing, too. Um, uh, you can learn a lot from this year, which I'm sure there's a lot of things we're going to take away and grow from. Um, our goal is to be better next year. Uh, we understand that there are going to be you know, some guys moving on because they're seniors. Uh, we're going to truly miss them. Whoever's returning, we're going to welcome uh, newcomers. Uh, we're going to do our best to uh, develop, um, which we, we pride ourselves on, player development and growing guys in our culture. Um, our goal is to be prepared for next year. And this summer, we're going to work extremely hard in preparing our guys. And then also in the fall, so we can play for next season. But right now, you know, it's hard for me to start thinking about next year um, because right, right, all my brain is, you know, this game is very fresh. So it's going to be tough to sleep tonight, <laughs> uh, but I'll get through it. I wonder if something wrong with the audio. I don't hear anything. Hi, Joan. I don't know. I'm just going to unmute myself here. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. All right, sure. Um, I'm wondering if you can speak now that the season is over. I don't know if there's anything you didn't share during the season about how hard this season really was with COVID, you know, just, just dealing with this stuff. I know it was something you spoke about throughout, but... I don't know if there's anything else you could share about the difficulty of, of navigating this particular year. Well, you know, I, I don't think there's anything else I can share that I've already sh shared with you guys early on throughout the year. Every coach has dealt with it. Every student athlete has dealt with it. Um, it's been challenging, uh, but we all have learned and uh, we have grew from it. Uh, the key is we all just want to uh, looking forward to, you know, living a healthier life. Um, you know, I've, dealt with it from a you know, family member and losing family members during COVID. So it's been challenging, but uh, you know, I'm never a non-excuse individual, um, but I will continue to keep praying for all our loved ones that is out there throughout the world that's facing uh, this very challenging time. Juwan, it's Brendan again. Um, can you just... Uh go through what you saw on the, the defensive matchup with Juzang and just the, what he was able to do and, and how you were trying to adjust or adapt or whatever it took to kind of slow him down? Uh, Juzang, um, he, he had a very good game, but every shot that, or every point that he got, he worked hard for it. Uh, our guys uh, were different guys that was guarding him, um, was making everything tough. Um, there were some shots that he made uh, which was a runner, I, I recall in the first half. Uh, it was very challenging, difficult, but he, he, 
he was capable of, you know, getting it in. But, um, you know, other guys like Bernard, uh, Jacquez, uh, which are very good offensive players, you know, they also shoot the ball extremely well. Um, it wasn't their night, but well, Jusang had it going. Um, our guys really, you know, guarded very hard. Our next question comes from Bob Winowski. Yeah, just to follow up, Juwan, you mentioned um, it's going to be hard to sleep tonight, of course, when a season ends like this. Because there were so many good looks down the stretch, shots seemingly open, does that make it even more difficult to stomach because you did get lots of shots, inside shots, too, that you wanted? Um, you know, when you lose, you know, it's, it's very challenging. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to... You know, to start thinking about, you know, would have, could have, should have, you know, it's, it's not about that. You know, it's, it's about, you know, how can we improve um, and how can we get better? So, you know, let, let me you know, deal with this loss right here, you know, and um, <clears throat> huh. this place is pretty messed up. <laughs> it's dirty all over this place. Right, and then for our last question, we'll go to Jeff Eisenberg, if he can speak. Yeah, Jawan, I know uh, Franz had a, uh, a rough night. Uh, can you kind of take me through what you saw from him? And then also, what, what made you trust him down the stretch uh, in spite of those struggles? Uh, str Franz is uh, one of the big reasons why we're here in this position. And uh, I always have trust in all my players. And, and, uh, and it's never uh, one guy fall because he didn't shoot the ball well. Uh, together as a team, uh, you win together and you lose together. All right. Thank you, Coach, for your time. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. We will be